Thanks for staying with us. So the National Examination Council has released the results of 2019 member, uh, November, December results for the senior school certificate examination. And only 48% of our students reportedly actually obtained credits in five subjects and above. Report has it that 52% of them failed to obtain five credits as NECO records the highest exam malpractice. Hmm. What are your thoughts on this? I think um, the number of Nigerians not doing well, uh, Nigerian students not doing well has sort of increased over time. It just shows an increase. But what it shows to me is not necessarily that the education system is falling every year, which it is, which of course we know our education system is really struggling right now. But I think it shows more that the um, administration of the examination board is doing a better job at um, picking out the data of our students, what they do, how they do. So it's not that because in 2019 and then and 2018, the number is quite high. And I do not think it's just because the standard of education dropped in one year but that because we're taking the data more seriously right now. When I was writing my own um, NECO and YX and all of that, we, we, there was of course failure, but the, 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 the real reality is our parents were more involved, more than what we have now. So parents see children that they feel are struggling and we have parents either willingly let you pay for you to get your exam done at special centers yes, sir. or they yeah maybe people parents you pay. Your time? no my time my parents paid for you to get your exam done at special there were specific schools that are called special centers you pay specific what money for those special, schools okay. special bill in that you have teachers that will teach you, you what to write mm. oh really yes the teachers will tell you what to write they take but you through the process and they can even write for you so you're, you're guaranteed you'll pass that used to happen then. Now, uh, but, but, but we had that in se selected areas. They worked on it a bit. But now we have cases where people would come into the exam hall to write exams on behalf of the child. I, I'm happy the government is highlighting this. And I wonder what kind of parents would do that. You're setting up your child for failure long term. You're, you're not giving your child the right values. What kind of adult are you raising? Mm. It's worrisome. If a child fails, let the child fail and grow through that process by studying again. So the, I think that we should penalize parents also. Our examination malpractice law also covers parents who aid and abet the children in exam malpractice to go to be convicted as well. So it, we have really grown beyond the days when my, we had magic centers. Mm. We had um, um, uh, people coming to write exams, people paid to write exams. In fact, you do not have to show face at all. Mm -hmm. you, people you will write your exams. And in your weaker subjects, you can have someone come in on those days alone to write your exams for you. Those are norms in those days. For JAM, for WAEC, for NECO, in a large way, we've been able to cope this. But you still see these things happen during um, the, what they call the GCEs, the NECO GCEs and the WAEC, this, the external exams. And you will find out that it is the officials of these exam bodies themselves who now perpetrate this. So yes, the days of the magic centers running, you know, private exam centers where they are free to do whatever they like has passed. But we, now, we are now in the age where the NECO officials are the ones who should be investigating for the roles that they play in all of this. You have weak students coming in and where they, wherever they've assured those students of magic happening and they fail to deliver, that's how you see it reflecting the results. It's not still that, they, that there is a large number of failure does not mean that the larger number of um, strong students have, have been able to come out. What you just had was a failure of the magic system working. But now that we have this data, what do we make use of? How do we make use of this data? What's, what can the government do? What can private um, um, companies do? What can we do to fix the problem? How to help the kids? Mm -hmm. How to ensure proper monitoring is being done in that, this examination? What exactly can we do with this data? Three things quickly. Number one is what we are doing already. The NECO having data and then putting up, beefing up security. JAM has even crossed the level of beefing up security. We are now writing on that camera. Number two is parents now. Every child that you have, as, as young as they are from primary, must be able to un read and understand whatever it is they have to write an exam and upon. N those days of where we had a an imbalance of the language of learning, mm. was there was a problem. But now all our children, their first right. language is this English language right. that they read in school. So there's a l level of balance. I think it's about time we need to start appreciating the fact that we need to customize education. education for all of us, mm -hmm. especially in Nigeria, where we are in our development. Yeah, it'd be great for all of us to be educated, enlightened, you know, speak well, do all the nice foreign things. But at some, at some point, 
we need to realize that some of these kids out of secondary school, maybe they need to go and learn a trade. Right. <laughs> maybe they need to go and learn some kind of technical skills. <laughs> because maybe temporarily, eventually, they can go back to university. But at this moment, the, the fact that somebody fails shouldn't be the destination. Mm. It should be an indication that you can do something else okay. for now.